My specialists say hundreds of patients in England are suffering irreversible sight loss every year because services are overstretched and under-resourced. The president of the Royal College of Ophthalmologists has told the BBC that an ageing population is putting demands on the NHS like never before. Here's our health correspondent, Adam Brimelow. Elizabeth Arash has lost nearly all her sight. She's had to battle to get regular injections which preserve her remaining vision. Last year, she was told instead of four to six weeks between treatments, she'd have to wait 16 weeks. I never got an explanation how somebody could be so silly as to just, you know, say 16 weeks, no explanation, no discussion. So it's all very heartbreaking, really. The Royal College of Ophthalmologists says there's a perfect storm of increased demand on eye services, with attendances up by 30% in five years. In part, that's to be expected as more people live longer, but there are also new treatments that require patients to keep on coming back. The Royal College says it's these repeat appointments, often crucial to protect eyesight, which are the most likely to be delayed or lost in the system. More and more patients are coming back time and again to eye clinics like this. This department alone is seeing nearly 10% more patients every year. And if those appointments are missed or delayed, that could put the patient's eyesight at risk. The NHS has reported nearly 500 incidents in two years, but these delays have led to sight loss. Experts say the true situation is much worse, particularly in England compared to other parts of the UK. We are hearing from our members who are frontline clinical ophthalmologists that this is a very common problem. The surveys and the studies are obviously based on people reporting to us or to another organisation that there is a problem. And therefore these surveys are likely to underestimate the problem and just probably be the tip of the iceberg. Some clinics are managing to treat more patients by working in new ways. NHS England says waiting times have fallen, but these are for initial treatment rather than repeat appointments. The Royal College says treatment targets should be reviewed to ensure repeat appointments get the right priority. Adam Brimelow, BBC News.